Hey, this is James. Uh, today I'm going to show you some information about uh, beams, so scheduling beams and their length. So let's, and I'm using Archicad 23 for this. So I'm just going to get the beam tool and I'm going to draw some beams. So I'm just going to draw a couple and then make some duplicates. Okay, so I just have a few beams and I'm going to say, let's say these two, opening up the properties and I'll say, let's say these are seven meter length beams and okay. And then these two, uh, maybe three, let's say these are five meters. And let's say this last one, open the properties and change this to three meter length. Okay, so we have three types of beam lengths here. And I'm gonna create a new schedule. So under schedules, I'm gonna go right click and say new schedule. And I'm gonna call this beam lengths and okay. Uh, for now, probably be better if I choose classification, but for now I'm just going to choose to make sure this is element type beam. So ideally, uh, I should add classification. And then under the fields, I'm going to add... So I'm just going to have a look at what's existing uh, already within the fields. So for example, there's 3D length, so I'll add that. Just have a look at length, and I'm going to have a look at say length left, le length right, just to see how they go. And I'm also going to add quantity, so how many. And I'll clear this, and just for, um, just as a little guide, I'm going to add the 2D cross section preview as well. And just going to drag that to the top. And for the quantity, I'm going to click this, so this will create a total, so how many uh, beams there are in total. And okay, so let's see what happens when we use this. So I don't need all of these, but let's just see what uh, how they work. So we'll click OK. And I'm going to open the beam length settings. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, modify the scheduling size a little bit. Okay, so here we have, so three meter, five meter, five meter, five meter, seven, seven, so one of each. If I choose the merge uniform items, so let's choose this, I can see that the three meter, three, so it's three meters all around, so one quantity, but for the five meter length, it's actually adding the lengths. So the 3D length will actually add them together, but the length left and length right will actually just use the um, single unit. So it won't add the three by five uh, together. And the same for the seven. So I think what we want to use, probably not this 3D length. So we'll use either the left or right. But if these are not good either, so maybe the 3D length is better, what we can do is actually create a uh, property that uh, lives within the beam that can actually use this expression and convert it just to a simple number rather than being a unit that gets added together. So we could use this technique also for uh, areas or something where something has to be a sort of a fixed size for the unit and you don't want them all to be added together. So when you do a merge uniform. So for now, I'm going to remove these length left and length right. So I'm just going to go to my scheme, select these two and remove, and OK. OK, so now it's actually added everything together. So that's not also not good. So I want to separate between the different lengths. So what I want to do is create a new property. So I'm going to go to my options property manager. And I'm going to create a new one. And I'm going to say beam length for example and okay 
Okay, so let's uh, try a few things here first. So if I say length and the expression, and we're going to use the same field, so the same built-in uh, property, which is 3D length. So let's see what happens if I just do a, an expression using the exact same uh, field. And I'm just going to make sure that it's going to be available. So I'm going to edit and I'm just going to choose anything classified as a beam because otherwise this property won't be uh, available for anything because it was set to none. So I've got to make sure this property is going to live inside the beams. So I go OK and OK. And then I'm going to go scheme, add field, and now I'm going to add this new property. So I use the word actual and double click. Just move it up. So let's see what happens with this uh, new property. So all it's done is using the exact same 3D length. All it's doing is housing that value into a property. And then OK. OK, so now I can see it uh, has separated. So per unit, so for the 3 meter, 5 meter, and 7 meter. So this is better, but I can still see that it's uh, adding them together. So if I go unmerge, then the values are the same, so that's good. But when I merge, then all the same will be merged together. So here I can actually see the original value is, is, is 7, so per unit, but then it adds the two quantities together to equal 14. So this also won't work. So another thing that we can do, if I go back into my property, and my definition. So what I can actually do is uh, set this, instead of being a length, I can actually convert this value into just a string. So all that the uh, schedule will recognize is just a bunch of characters. So it won't realize that it's a, a length or a unit based uh, value. So if we change this to string, so now I can see that uh, the expression doesn't like um, this because it knows that this value is a length value. So it's I've put a length value within a string. So it's, it's, it says that it uh, doesn't like this. So the, the expression contains an error. So what we need to do is actually convert this length into a string in this expression editor. So if I go to my functions here and just search convert, then I can actually see two types of functions to convert. So this is convert to string, which looks good. So just let's see the uh, description. Um, may not be right because it says that the types, yeah, so let's try this other one, so convert unit to string. So here I can see the argument type, length, area, volume, or angle. So this one looks better. So because I have a length value, which I want to convert to a string. So I'm going to double click this and my 3D value, I'm just going to cut and paste into this value field. And so now I don't have this error anymore. So all it's doing is converting a, a, a length value into a string value. So this is all that this is doing. And click OK. So that looks good. And then click OK. Uh, much better. So now because this is just a, a string, it's not going to add them together because it doesn't. Uh, the schedule doesn't see it as a value anymore. It just sees it as a bunch of characters. So if I go unmerge, then it's three no, five 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 seven seven. But when I merge them together, it still retains the three five and seven, even though it's uh, quantity two three one etc. So let's add the floor plan. I'm just going to make one, uh, maybe a couple of copies of this short one, and then go back to my beam length. And now I can see this is three, but it's still the actual length is three. So this is actually like unit length. And this one is a combined length. So this one would actually probably delete from this rather than having this, uh, because it's, I don't need to order 15 meters, I need to order five meter uh, unit and three quantities. 
So let's actually remove this 3D links because we just have this in the new property here. Remove, okay. Okay, and then this is exactly what we need. So you can imagine using this type of technique for the property, uh, converting a, a value that you want to be based as a, a unit value. So you can just do this conversion and then when you schedule it, uh, it won't add them together when you use the merge uniform items. Okay, hope, hope this is useful and thanks. Until next time. Bye.